Hi guys, so if you are facing this error, Windows 10 error code with 70035 network path was not found. Uh, let's uh, see it. Uh, let's fix it. So let's move to the first fix. Just search turn windows features on or off. Just click on it. And now you have to check SMB 1.0 okay just see this SMB 1.0 just select all these things so that this tick mark is in this all of this SMB 1.0 CAFS file sharing support items okay just expand this and select all these now click on okay and now it will take some time to you know install and now restart your computer and your problem will be fixed now if this does not get fixed let's move to the next method and that is let's say uh, you are facing this uh, the trouble while sharing this folder or maybe you're facing this trouble while sharing a drive okay so let's uh, in this example i'm taking this example of a folder so right click on it and after that click on properties now click on sharing now click on advanced sharing now check this share this folder now click on apply and click on ok and click close and now try again and your problem will be fixed now if this also does not fix your problem there is one more thing you can do just open control panel ok just open control panel and now open control panel now make sure view by large icons is selected okay after that click on credential manager now click on windows credentials now click on add a window credential and now add the window credentials note that you have to use the credential of the user on that computer uh, having administrative permission on the share file or share folder okay so just add those credentials and click on okay and now try again and your problem will be fixed now if this also does not fix your problem let's move to the next method and that is uh, maybe uh, the firewall is uh, behaving like this so try to disable the antivirus or firewall temporarily and try to connect Maybe firewall is interfering uh, in this, uh, you know. So just search control panel. And now among the list of options, just click on Windows Defender Firewall. And now here click on turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. And now turn off Windows Defender Firewall for both public and private settings. Click on OK and try again if this does not work enable them again now if this also does not work let's move to the next method and that is enable net bios over tcp ip so just right click on the start button click on run type ncpa.cpl now click on ok now right click on uh, double click on your ethernet connection okay now right click on your ethernet connection click on properties now double click on internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 now click on advanced now click on wins and now select this enable net bias over tcp ipv and now click on OK and now try again and your problem will be fixed. Now if this also does not fix your problem, there is one more thing which you can do and that is running few commands. Okay, Just open CMD, right click and click on run as administrator. Okay, Now you have to run few commands one by one. These are basic and popular commands of networking 
I pasted all these commands in the description of the video given below. You can directly copy these commands from there. Okay. I have pasted all these commands in the description of the video given below. You can directly copy these commands from there. Just keep on copying the commands one by one and then pasting in the command prompt window and hitting enter to execute the command. Okay. Now, if this also does not work, let's move to the last method and that is just right click on the start button, click on run, type ncpa.cpl, click on OK. Now in your Ethernet connection, right click on it, click on properties and now click on install. Now select protocol, click on add, okay, select reliable multicast protocol and it has been added, close and try again and your problem will be fixed. So that's it guys, please do like the video to support us and subscribe to the channel, it's very important for us.